What's going on my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm One Eye Bri. You don't know if I'm winking or I'm blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about The Walking Dead. And in this video, we're going to cover the first half of Season 9 and speculate, theorize, really discuss the back half of Season 9 as it pertains to the flashback episode of what happened after Episode 904 and 905 really before the six year time jump and what happened after this part right here with Jed and Carol. So obviously spoiler warning for the first half of season nine and the second half, but first guys, if you can show us some love by hitting that subscribe button. If you love all things Walking Dead, become a valued member of our PT channel, Walking Dead family. Obviously photo credit and info credit to AMC and The Walking Dead giving credit where credit is due. Now I recently watched the clips of episode 903, 904, 905, to gather what really happened here as it pertains to the second half of season nine and the potential flashback that we'll see in the back half of season nine. And if you watch the part right here pretty closely, you see Jed is kind of banged up. He stole the gun from Alden, but Alden was still alive as we saw after the time jump, but we saw Jed knew about Oceanside. Well, he put two and two together. He said that Oceanside is the one that killed his saviors. He figured it out. So Carol knows about Oceanside. So I think that pertains to a lot of the flashback that we'll see in the second half of season nine. We'll probably see why Maggie left, we'll see Jesus still alive, and we'll see the saviors still being a pain in the butt. Jed and his group of saviors came for the guns, and I believe they were going after Oceanside to get back at them for killing Arat and Justin and another group of saviors. So clearly they had unfinished business with Oceanside. Not sure who all made it there, but we know Regina was still alive. We know Jimmy was still alive, Jed, Laura, and some other saviors. We saw Jimmy, DJ, and Laura in Alexandria, and we haven't seen any other savior at another community. I guess they could be at the kingdom, but I haven't seen them only in Alexandria, DJ, Jimmy, and Laura. But Jed and Regina were still alive when Carol and Henry came across them after the time jump. So if you remember the group at the camp, we saw Jed, Regina, DJ, and Jimmy. I'm sure Laura might have been there. We didn't really see her, but she was around somewhere. But the saviors were still there. Carol talked with Jed, and it's not a lot of information, but it's some information that kind of clears up what happened after the camp and before the six-year time jump with older Judith. And it kind of cleared it up a little bit, clear as mud, you know? But ultimately, Jed, Regina, and his saviors did something after the camp. Did they go back to the sanctuary? Did they go after Oceanside? Did Michonne go after the saviors and kill some of them? Clearly, she didn't kill Jed and Regina and DJ and Jimmy and Laura. The rest of them, maybe, maybe some Oceanside members got taken out as well. But the fact that Jed was still alive is pretty interesting because what did Michonne and Carol do after the camp fell, the bridge was blown up, did Carol just go back to the kingdom and Michonne went to Alexandria. Daryl has an ex, Michonne has an ex, maybe Carol does too, we just don't know yet. But the fact that Jimmy, DJ, and Laura are members of Alexandria and they're pretty big members too. As DJ was helping Michonne and Sadiq escort Magna to the hilltop. You just don't bring a member along on a road trip like this if you don't trust them. And I guess DJ has come a long way because DJ was right there with Jed trying to steal the guns from Rick and Carol. But is DJ that trustworthy? I guess Michonne trusts him and is also Jimmy. Did Jimmy let Negan out of the jail cell? We just don't know 100%. And then you have Laura on the council. So the fact that Michonne runs Alexandria, she decides a lot of what to do there. And also she's part of the council. And as we saw from the council meeting, she kind of made things happen. She was kind of the person to decide what to do and the council just went along with it. So Michonne clearly made decisions. She talked to Carol about them at Hilltop and I definitely see a connection with the Saviors and potentially Oceanside. So let's talk about Oceanside a little bit. Recently, there was a Q&A and they came out that Oceanside is still around. They're still allies with Kingdom, Hilltop, and Alexandria. We haven't seen them yet since the time jump occurred, but there's been references to them. And some people think Oceanside is gone. Some people think Oceanside is okay. We'll just have to wait and see. But I think Oceanside and the Saviors are definitely connected with the flashback. You can see Michonne is very upset here. Is it because of Oceanside, the Saviors, Walkers? Is she killing a Savior, Oceanside member, or a Walker? We just don't know yet. 
how is her new haircut and the X on her back connected? I don't know the answer, but I can't wait to find out. And when Rick went back to the camp, there was nobody there. Everybody was gone except a couple walkers. There was one of the saviors that was killed, the lady on the horse, and one of the kingdom members right there. They were walkers. And I recently watched the fight between Daryl and Rick. And it's not really a fight. It's more of a dialogue. They get pushed into a sinkhole and they talk. And it's a great dialogue. They cover a lot of things. Daryl's viewpoint, Rick's viewpoint, the way Daryl sees things, Rick sees things. They talk about the past. You wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for Glenn, is what Daryl says to Glenn. And I have to be honest, I'm on Daryl's side with that whole argument, especially the points about Negan. Keeping Negan alive was giving people hope that they could have the Savior's back running again. Rick didn't see it that way. Keeping Negan alive prevented that. And I just love the difference of opinion and the dialogue. It was very telling that Daryl would have died for Rick and he would have died for Carl. And it's just great dialogue. It's a couple minutes. I think it's like five minutes of the episode. And it's really the last time that they talk. In the sinkhole, they get out. Daryl goes back to the campsite and then Rick is trying to go back, but he can't. He falls off the horse onto the rebar. And if you get a chance, go on YouTube or watch the episode and watch that part again with Daryl and Rick. Daryl even tells Rick about Oceanside and Maggie and everything. So Rick knew about it, but Rick didn't tell anybody. Rick fell on the rebar. He didn't talk to Michonne, Carol, anybody. So the people that knew about Oceanside where Carol, Daryl, Maggie, Oceanside, obviously, the saviors that were with Jed, and people at the campsite. So Rick didn't tell Michonne, but I'm sure Carol did or somebody did, right? Daryl had to have some conversation after the bridge, and hopefully we get to see that. And I really hope the flashback does a great thing for bridging the gap between episode 905 and episode 906 because it's a six year time jump. So we could see pregnant Michonne with a little belly. We'll see pregnant Michonne obviously because she has the baby. But what happens between the bridge exploding, the campsite being chaotic, and then Judith saving Magna? It's just so much could happen. Maggie's gone. Maggie leaves with Georgie. Maggie's going to have a falling out with. Michonne and clearly Michonne and Hilltop and probably Maggie and Tara and Oceanside and the Saviors and really everybody is against Michonne. It's Michonne and Alexandria versus the world. And it's very, very interesting that Michonne has the Saviors at her camp in Alexandria. No one else does. And Hilltop and people have a problem with Michonne. So clearly Michonne made some tough decisions about the Saviors potentially Oceanside, Alexandria, the fair, the kingdom, Hilltop, Maggie, and I can't wait to find out. I don't know if it's going to be a whole episode of the flashback, but I could see that. You know they're going to do something with that. They have to give us answers, right? We have to know why Maggie left, what Michonne and Carol are specifically talking about here, about the fair. Carol knows about RJ. She asked about him, and she's the early, only one to really ask about RJ and talk about him. So, Carol and Michonne are clearly close. What was the conversation of Carol, Michonne, Maggie, and probably Daryl about the Saviors, Negan, Oceanside, Rick, Jadis, Father Gabriel? Hopefully Father Gabriel has talked to somebody about Jadis and what happened there, but probably not. So I don't know if we're going to get a whole episode of the flashback, if it's going to be a bottle episode just for that, but I could see The Walking Dead doing that. And I definitely want answers to the questions, but I don't know if I want a whole bottle episode for it. But if they do, I'll be okay with it because as long as they answer the questions that we have, I think it's a win-win. So what do you think, guys? What do you make of it? I know I talked about a lot of different things, but just putting things together from the campsite to Carol, Daryl, the Saviors, Oceanside, Rick's disappearance, the time jump, what has happened over six years? So much stuff has happened. Or should have happened, right? Maggie went away. The sanctuary fell. Judith got older. And Judith got a brother. RJ, Michonne, Saviors, Oceanside, Hilltop, 
tough decisions. I can't wait to find out the answers. Let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't already, guys, please hit that subscribe button, become a valued member of the PT channel and our Walking Dead family. And remember guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself, you can do it. And as always, it's about love and support. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.